Whenever I think of Nintendo, the first thing that comes to mind is Mario. Yes, that's right, Nintendo's most known and biggest mascot of all time. The little red plumber has been running around collecting coins, jumping down pipes, and eating mushrooms for over 20 years now, and has defined platform gaming. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you guys 10 interesting facts about the Mario franchise. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. Did you guys know that Mario was originally going to ride a rocket and carry guns? Yeah, that's freaking right. Turns out a little red hero was going to actually be a bit more badass. It took a while for Nintendo to nail down chasm jumping and turtle crushing as the core tenants of the Super Mario Bros. Initially the game was going to be more of a straight up action game with Mario wielding a beam gun and a rifle. Also the game was uh, meant to be split evenly between on foot stages and shooter stages in which Mario rides a rocket or a cloud equipped with his freaking guns. Did you guys know that the bushes and clouds are the same sprite in Super Mario Bros? Yep, that's right, the makers of Super Mario Bros are a little bit lazy and, well, they were pretty into recycling stuff. And did you know that not only are the clouds and bushes of the same sprite, but the big castle that precedes Bowser levels is just clobbed together from multiple small castles. I mean, come on, couldn't you just make one separate spite for a badass looking Bowser castle? Nope, they were too lazy for that shit, and they just wanted to jam together a whole bunch of smaller castles to make Bowser's epic bigger castle. Jesus. Goombas were actually the last enemies added to the game. Yep, you guys know them, the little brown guys, mushroom things? Yep, the first enemy you encounter in Super Mario Bros was actually one of the last things added to the game. At the last moment, Miyamoto decided the game needed an easier enemy that could be killed with a single hit, but cartridge space was so limited at that point that it needed something as simple as possible. So they basically created a little ball with eyes and with a two frame walking animation. Goombas are called Kurbo in Japan which basically translates to chestnut people. Did you guys know that Mario's name actually used to be called Jumpman? Yup, that's right, Mario's first appearance in a video game was back in 1981's Donkey Kong. So we now know Donkey Kong, he's a star of his own, but in the original Donkey Kong game, Donkey Kong was actually the villain who kidnapped a Denzel in distress. Mario's name, who was Jumpman back then, had to rescue the Denzel by jumping over barrels that Donkey Kong would have thrown at them. Back then, not only did Mario have a different name, but he actually had a different job. Of course, we know Mario now, he's a plumber and all that. But back then, Mario, named Jumpman, was actually a carpenter. Yes, a carpenter. That's right, he's moved from Jumpman to Mario, and from carpenter to plumber. Interesting. Okay, so do you guys actually want to know where Mario got his name from? Where the name originated from? Where Nintendo got the idea to call this little red man Mario? Well, Mario actually got his name from the Nintendo office's landlord. Yes, that's right, guys, the landlord of the Nintendo office. So, you know, Nintendo didn't actually go to their office and sit down for 20, 30, 40 minutes brainstorming ideas to think of, you know, what we should call this character. No, they got it from the landlord of their office. So it turns out that Mario Seagull rented a warehouse to the then buddying video game company Nintendo as they were working on a video game called Donkey Kong. Unfortunately, the starting up company was behind on its rent, which ordered a visit from Seagull. After a promise from Nintendo's president that the rent would be paid, Seagull simply left. Legend has it that this encounter gave the developers an idea to rename the character Jumpman as Mario. And the rest, of course, is history, and now Mario's just infamous for gaming, and whenever someone says Mario, we exactly know who that little character is. If you guys look super carefully at the patio area outside Hotel Defino in Super Mario Sunshine, you'll actually notice that the patio area looks like an upside down GameCube controller. Yes, that's right guys, I'm not seeing things. Take a look at these two pictures, the one of the GameCube controller and the one of the patio area. Now just compare the two. Did you guys know that New Super Mario Bros Wii was originally meant to have a chicken power up in the game? Yes, that's right, a chicken power-up. If you guys look at this image right here, this is an image of uh, some officially leaked 
sort of um, ideas for transformations and stuff like that. And as you guys can see, on the very right of this picture, we can see the penguin suit that Mario transforms into uh, in New Super Mario Bros. for Wii. But if you guys look at the direct center, you'll see the chicken suit that uh, basically players could collect this chicken power up and then they'd be put into this chicken suit. So that's pretty crazy to think. Of course, this idea was scrapped and um, out came the penguin power up. But um, pretty interesting. I really don't know what the chicken power up would have done. Maybe you could like glide for a few seconds or something. I don't really know. Lay eggs so you can jump on the eggs or something. Throw eggs. Not really too sure how it would have gone down. But uh, it's a crazy idea. I think it would have been funny as if they actually went through with it. Okay, so every time you make Mario break one of those brick blocks, you may be thinking to yourself, geez Mario, you must need some major painkillers for that amazingly sore headache that you're going to have after smashing your head up against those bricks and breaking them. You must have an iron hard freaking skill. Well, actually guys, this is a common misconception. You may think every time you break a brick in the Mario series, you may be thinking that Mario is actually smashing his head up against them to break them. But this is a common misconception. Mario actually uses his fists to break the brick. Did you guys know that Mario, Luigi, Wario, and Waluigi are all voiced by the same guy? Yes, that's right guys, Charles Martinet has been voicing those characters ever since Super Mario 64. Can you freaking believe it? Did you guys know that Chain Chomps, yes, you know those enemies in the Mario series with the, they like those big ball things at the end of chains with the big eyes and the massive teeth. Well, did you know that the idea of these actually came from a traumatic childhood event? Yes, these black chomping balls at the end of chains were actually inspired by a traumatic event in Shingeru Minamoto's childhood where a neighbor's dog chased him before being yanked back by a chain attached to its collar. You know, it's really weird where some of these ideas for different video games really come from. But anyway guys, that is it, that is 10 interesting facts about Mario, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, I definitely like bringing out these fact videos because it means that not only you guys, but me also, I get to research and learn about new things I didn't previously learn or know about before, type of, you know, type of thing. But anyway guys, if you enjoyed today's video, share the love by liking it, follow me on Facebook, and until next time guys, I will catch you later.